Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and crafting. Today's December 23rd, two days before Christmas 2021. This is video 82. This is actually a special video. It's all on Christmas. Christmas cross stitch charts. We're going to have a chart parade. I have a whole box of charts that I'll show that are my favorite cross stitching charts that I've collected. Some cross stitch finishes that I'll show that I've done in the past years. I'll explain who the designer is, how I finished it, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started. And I'm really excited for Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. It's going to be a very rainy, rainy Southern California week. And I'm very excited because I love the rain. It's going to be a great, great Christmas this year. I think we'll probably drive to my brother's in Long Beach and go see him. Part of us wants to stay home and just have a fireplace and have a movie marathon, but I think we'll go see my brother. My mom will be there and it's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started with some charts. Now, some of these charts, again, these are pr mostly my favorites. And there's a few I'll show that I've collected along the way as well. This one is so much prettier stitched up. Now, I've seen a picture of someone that stitched this. It's by Madame Lafie. Christmas Carol. It is adorable. Stitched up and a fabric that color would really make that white pop out and it's beautiful. So this is a French company, Madame Lafie. Christmas Carol is the first one. And another one that I really liked, which isn't Christmas, but I pulled this out because there's a lot of us, including myself, that this time of year is very difficult. And I had a viewer send me this chart and it meant the world to me. And when Elizabeth, my stepdaughter passed away, I had currently been, I deal with my dad passing every day. It's very hard for me. And Christmas and Thanksgiving time is hard um, for a lot of us, you know, cause we're missing our relatives. So the reason I pulled this out, not because it's Christmas, but because of what it says. It is called When Life Is Done. It's by Silver Creek Samplers. And this meant more to me than I could even tell you when, when my um, the viewer sent it to me. She wrote to me and asked, I have a chart I'd like to send you. Could I get your address? And wow, when I got it, it was just amazing. So here's what it says. When life is done, it says, I love you just as much today as when you died and flew away. I'll not be sad nor shed a tear. Your memories will linger near. We'll meet again when life is done and soar away beyond the sun. Now, as you guys know, Elizabeth was my stepdaughter, Rick's daughter, and she was also my one of my best friends. She was my bridesmaid in my wedding. So this year, I plan on stitching this up for her, putting her initials on the headstone. And uh, so I pulled this out because, like I said, there's a lot of us this time of year that are really missing our relatives. And it's a difficult time sometimes. Here's one that I love. It's by Eben it's by uh Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> it's by Erica Michaels and it's called Ebenezer's Christmas. And this is adorable. I love the Christmas story, uh, Christmas Carol book. I'm reading the book right now. I read it usually every year. And anything Christmas Carol related to Ebenezer and the story of Christmas, it, I just love it. So anyway, this says, "I will honor Christmas in my heart." and try to keep it all the year. He knew how to keep Christmas well. God bless us, everyone. So there are outtakes from the book, from the movie, and I love that couple down here, and I love that sleigh ride in the middle of it. So this will get done sometime this year. That's Erica Michaels, Ebenezer's Christmas. Here's two Erica Michaels that are strawberries, Christmas strawberries. This is called Chris, <laughs> Chris Moose Berry. These berries go pretty fast. It's fun to do these because you get a quick finish. I say quick. It takes a few days or depending how long you work on it. Here's the name. And here's another one, St. Nick's Berry. But these berries are so cute to display in a bowl, on a table. You could even put a hanger at the top. If you pack it with batting um, or fiber fill, you can hang it from a tree. I like filling it with lizard litter. I have a straw couple strawberries back here that I've done with just fabric to practice before I do one of my cross stitches. So these are two that I think I'll do this year that will go pretty quick and it's just fun to have a finish and have something done, you know, fast and 
I'll see about finishing it myself this year. Here's a popular one by Blackbird Bird Designs, The Bells on Christmas Day. There are five designs in this book. It's a great book. I'll show them up close so you can see what they look like. And then here's the ones on the bottom. I have not stitched anything out of this book yet, but I, I do think that they're even prettier in person when you see them stitched up in person. Even though these are great pictures, I think that uh, in person they're just beautiful when they're stitched. Here's another one by Blackbird Designs that I've seen stitched up. It's really pretty. Merry Christmas by Blackbird Designs. Here's another one by Stony Creek that I love. It is called Christmas in the Woods. Look at that gorgeousness. I always said, no, I don't think I'll do a stocking, but when I look at that stocking, I'll show it up close. Isn't that just beautiful? I will start one of these eventually and, oh gosh, it's just, even if I looked at just the book and looked at the pictures in this book, it's just so, so pretty. So this is Christmas in the Woods by Stony Creek. I've never done a big stocking. I've done some small stockings, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Now here's what I showed in the last video. It's called Christmas Redwork Collection. When I showed this, people probably think that is just massive. Well, I think I'm gonna break it up into parts. As you guys know, I finished this little horse right here. This is by Joan Elliott. So really, you could take a part of these charts. You don't have to stitch it all together. Take a little part of it, like I did the horse here. Here's my finish. I showed this last video. You could take this, make this into the cutest little ornament to put on your Christmas tree and turn it into something really cute. So that's a finish I did. So looking at this, you think it's massive, but you could even take a small part like this little part right here and stitch that and stitch little parts of this chart or do it all together like they have. It's just beautiful. So Joan Elliott. Christmas Redwork Collection. Here's a cute one. Candy Cane Wishes by Brenda Gervais. That's so cute. That'd be a really cute ornament. Uh, let's look at a couple of finishes. And I also have some projects that I'm working on right now that are incomplete. I'm still working on them. Let's talk about some finishes. I'll do some small ones first. These are both Mill Hill kits. You buy them. They're they're called, they're called Mill Hill kits. They come with beads. They're fully kitted. They come with perforated paper, beads, the threads, which you have to separate, but they're, it's not like a huge cross-stitch kit where you have to do a whole bunch of them that you have to separate the colors. For So for example, my very first Mill Hill kit that I did was this little tiny guy. He is called Sydney Snow. I don't know if he's still available, but he was so much fun to stitch because I did long stitches for the broom. See those long stitches? I did long stitches for the broom, fringe for the scarf. How come I don't see fringe on this guy? Oh, there it is. Right there's the fringe. See how it's sticking up? There's the fringe. Um, five bead posy clusters. Those I thought at first were a little bit hard. Where are they? I think they're right here. It's a little hard to see, but it's just a cluster of beads. He's really cute. He was quick. He was fun. And then with perforated paper, you just cut around it, put some felt on the back, put a hanger, you know, sew on a hanger real quick, and you've got yourself a little ornament for Christmas to hang on your tree. And so he's been hanging there in the last couple of videos. Sydney Snow. And then this is another one. This was called Snow Fun. This is one that I worked on after my dad passed away. And someone told me, hey, did you know that red cardinals means, there's a meaning, it has to do with people, if you see a red cardinal, it's a relative. I, I don't know the whole story, but it has to do with the love of relative um, and cardinals. But this was the second one called Snow Fun. And I worked on it right after my dad passed away. And I, I think of this when I love this. It makes me happy. He would have loved the cardinals. He liked ornaments on his tree, of course. 
Um, but if I had made him something like this, he would have just loved it. And so uh, I love the cardinals in this. I just loved everything about this Mill Hill kit. I put the hanger. I have not yet put this. Just I'll show you the back. I need to put some felt on the back of it to make it look nice and just glue some felt on the back. But that's all you, That's all I did is I just stitched on some a hanger, a, a little piece of ribbon for a hanger. And that's what he looks like. Next, I have Gingerbread House. It's another Mill Hill kit which I think is not available anymore or hard to find. I think I saw one on Amazon, but this is what it looks like. <clears throat> gingerbread House by Mill Hill. I know they have some smaller gingerbreads available, but this house was so much fun. It comes with a little button right here that you attach to the front. I'll show it up close so you can see all the beadwork. Beading was actually very easy once I got the hang of it. I was a little fumbly at first, of course. I mean, everybody is when they first start beating, they're kind of fumbly and awkward, but you start getting the hang of it. Basically, you're making an X inside the bead. You're just, as soon as you come up, put your bead, slide your bead on and then go down and then come back up your hole, go through the bead and go back down. You're making your X through the bead and it's, just this one came out really cute. So Gingerbread House by Mill Hill. And again, I don't know if it's available, but this is a Mill Hill frame. And the funny thing about it is when you get it, there is no cardboard. There's nothing on the back. You have to find a piece of cardboard yourself. <laughs> At least mine didn't have it. There's no glass, um, but the, the frames are really pretty. Let's talk about some more charts. Some more favorite charts. Prairie Schooler's been around for a long time. They're, they're reprinting charts that are so beautiful. This is number 81, Song of the Seasons. And it's Joy to the World, Jolly Old St. Nick, Peace on Earth, Deck the Halls, O Come All Ye Faithful, and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. These are small, very cute for ornaments. Uh, I'll show it a little bit closer so you can see. But this Prairie Schooler, I think Michelle McGraw just finished this one. That looks familiar. Come on, you faithful. I don't know if she did or not, but it sure looks familiar. Song of the Season by Prairie Schooler. Here's a cute one that was free through Lindy Stitches. I think this is Christmas, Sugar Plum Dreams. And it's the horse. I thought he was adorable. You could probably contact Stephanie from Lindy Stitches and ask if that's still available through her newsletter. You have to subscribe to her email newsletter. And uh, that came out just a few months ago, maybe a month or so ago. Here's one that I have loved. Blackbird Designs, Home for the Holidays. Now I have stitched one of the stockings. I'll show you the picture of the stocking that I did. Um, just in case, oh, here it is right here. I finished this one, made it into a had it made into a stocking with a cutest little hanger here and a pretty little bow, and I gifted it to a friend. Uh, if you know Brenda and Laura, I gifted it to Brenda, and um, this past summer I got to see her. So this book is full of awesome cross stitch goodness. One of my favorites. Here's some more uh, some more pictures inside this beautiful book. That's the, is that the one I did up here? The ABC one? Yeah, the ABC one is the one I gifted to Brenda. It was a little mini stocking to hang on her tree. The one that's so popular is the one with the red cardinal. And I'm going to show it right here without showing the chart. That's a popular one. It's called Tis the Season. It's gorgeous. This book is such a great book. If you get a chance, this might be a better picture. If you get a chance to get this book, they've got the cutest little stockings, all kinds of great. Um, here's another one that's really popular. Blessings Be Thine. That's another popular one in this book. So this is the name of it, Home for the Holidays, Blackbird Designs. It's a great, great book. Here's a couple Blackbird Design mini stockings for Christmas. Merry, what is this? Merry December. There's three stockings in this one. It's a little mini book. 
Here's the other two on the back. And then there's that one. And then this one only has one, and that's what this one looks like here. This one's called Crowning the Tree by Blackbird Designs. Those are so fun to do. Here's one I showed that is so fun and it's just a different color. Now my printer's got some lines through it. The Etsy shop is called Happy Mood Point. I showed it a few videos back. It's a Christmas chart. I would probably do it in red, but I love that they give you an idea of what it would look like in blue. Happy Mood Point. All together, one word on Etsy. Here are some other ones. Let's see here. Seriously, Cottage Garden Samplings has just been amazing with their releases lately. Christmas Delivery. How beautiful on that dark gray fabric. That's Cottage Garden Samplings. Here's a punch needle I plan on doing. This is by Not Forgotten Farms. That punch needle is going to be really pretty. My goal is to do more punch needle this year. Here's another cottage garden sampling called Story Time with Santa. And he's reading a book. He's got his hat hanging on the house. How cute is that? <laughs> okay, let's show a couple more finishes. These are both from the Farmhouse Christmas Little House Needleworks. This one is called Dairy Darlin'. It was made into a pillow. And she put, my finisher put Christmas on the Christmas uh, fabric on the back. So Dick, uh, Dairy, what is it? Dixie Darlin? Dairy Darlin by Little House Needleworks. It's part of their farmhouse Christmas. So cute and a little fuzzy on the side. This one is called Grandpa's Tr uh, Pickup. Grandpa's Truck, something like that. Little House Needleworks. And I love that she put the Christmas fabric on the back, the red and white hanger, and the, I don't know, the chenille on the side. So these are fun. These were, they, they went pretty fast. This is, has been such a popular design for Little House Needleworks. They have a lot more, so check out their website. Look under Farmhouse Christmas, and you'll see a lot more of these um, to stitch. They're so fun. Okay, let's show a few more charts. This chart, the Etsy Shop Stitching Spell on Etsy. It's the cutest train. Isn't that adorable? I don't have the name of the chart. I mean, it's probably in here somewhere, but check out Stitching Spell. That's the name here. And that's the chart. That's one I want to do this year. I think it's so beautiful and different. Here's one. I don't know where I got it, but it's by Sue Hillis Designs called Twas the Night Before Christmas. And it gives you this, uh, you know, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But isn't that beautiful? I think that's really pretty. Sue Hillis Designs. Here's more Prairie Schoolers, Santa Revisited. Those are really pretty. They're a little hard to see. For some reason, they're kind, the picture's kind of dark. So that's Revisited number three. Here's another one, Feliz Navidad by Blackbird Designs. That's beautiful. Stitched up in person, I've seen it, it's beautiful. Next, Bygone Stitches. This is another popular one. Quaker Christmas 2. There's Quaker Christmas 1 and 2. And I'll show it up close and I'll pull it back a little bit so you can see. Bygone Stitches. How pretty. With 221, you know, the variegated DMC red. I think that would be so pretty. Here's one I got. Leisure Arts, A Portrait of Santa. He's beautiful. I love that old-fashioned look. I think that's really pretty. This just shows what it looks like on a like a quilt or a blanket and a pillow. Beautiful. Leisure Arts. Okay, let's show some more finishes. We did Grandpa's Pickup. This one is by Permin. It was gifted to me from my friend Inji in the Netherlands. Permin of Copenhagen. Now, my finisher, I sent it off to her. 
I just thought this was an adorable finish. She put it on a like a hard piece of cardboard or you know what it feels like it's wood and I think she just did a beautiful job finishing this but this was came as a kit it came with the threads came with the red Ada and that's how it came out adorable that's been hanging on my tree as well really really I love that fabric on the back how perfect is that so cute Okay, let's look at some more. This was a stitch along called A Christmas Carol. And it was from Stitching Book Club on Instagram. Her Etsy shop is called Sapphire M.T. Crafts. She does stitch alongs with books. So you read the book at the same time you're stitching a design. I chose not to finish the whole design. I wanted it as a circle. There was wording, I think, from the movie. And I decided to go ahead and keep it as a circle because I just love the look of it. That's the back, like a distressed fabric on the back. And it matches perfect with the variegated threads that I used. And I just thought that was so pretty. So this was a stitch along stitching um, book club on Instagram. Such a cute finish. Okay, next I have another finish. This was by Hands On Design. It was a full kit. It even included the fabric to finish this design. It was a little teeny tiny cross stitch. You can see the cross stitch here. And what I did is I followed the instructions. Kathy Haberman gives the best instructions on how to finish the kits that she puts together. So she included the little string that runs across here. She included the charm, the little acorns. She included the fabric of the two different kinds of fabric. And she explains exactly, and the hanger. She also included the hanger. So this kit was called um, Very Merry by Hands On Design. It was adorable, it was fun, and it was easy to do. And at the time that I made this, I really didn't know much about sewing. I just followed her instructions. And I was able to um, finish it. I was really surprised. Okay, let's do another finish. This is called Fa La La by Country Cottage Needleworks. This came out so adorable. So here you have the cross stitch right here. And this was done by a friend, a finisher. She added some polka dot, little baby polka dot fabric, extra fabric down here, put it all together with some backing fabric added the bow and a little, like a little, uh, it's like a little charm. So I, what I did when I stitched it, I changed the green to a green sparkle. So if you look carefully, you can see the sparkle right there. And I did the same for the bottom. So this green here also has sparkle on it. I think this came out so cute. Country Cottage Needleworks. Uh, it had a bar. No, this isn't the one I'm thinking of. I can't never scratch that. Anyway, it's Country Cottage Needleworks. I changed the red to 321 and it's just adorable. I just think that's so, so cute. What a fun, fun finish. I'm getting more and more comfortable with doing my own pillows and I plan to do more pillow finishes of my own this year. Let's show some more charts. How sweet is this chart? This is by Puntini. Puntini, there's the name. It's called Sweet Holidays, and that's the chart. Puntini and Puntini usually come with a button. So this button right here comes with the kit. There it is right there. This is a sweet little cross stitch. I'm, I definitely want to do this one this year as well. I will do the finish myself because look how simple. They just did the pillow. They didn't do a lot of foo-foo, and it's just going to be a sweet, simple pillow. So very cute. Let's show, let's see here. I'm going to show some Prairie Schoolers quickly. Prairie Schooler Christmas with the Animals. That's the name of it, Prairie Christmas. That's perfect for my animal tree. Santa's Revisited again. This is number five. I love all these Santas. I'm going to do more of these. I have seen on Instagram some of the most beautiful Santa trees. 
Here's another one I had to do this year and I didn't get time. Ebenezer by Calico Confectionery. And this is what he looks like. He's all crusty looking. <laughs> I like that. I will probably do a white mustache instead of a black one, maybe, to match his hair. <laughs> this is a beautiful one. $18.99 Christmas by Twin Peak Primitives. I'm going to show the whole thing here, and then I'll show it up close. Look at that gorgeous palace. I think that's beautiful. What a sweet chart. Just so fun. $18.99 Christmas. This chart has a story. I got it off Stash Unload. I don't know if it's available now. I'm sure it is. But when I bought it, I had no idea that this was an out-of-print chart and was impossible to get. I happened to look and find it on eBay for $400. <laughs> anyway, here's what it looks like. It's little mini stockings, which I'll do this year for sure. And look at the little minis along with it. Isn't that adorable? So see, this is a great example. You can have a chart and maybe you don't want to do the stocking. Maybe you'd rather just do one of the swans, make it into the cutest little cross stitch. And, you know, make this instead of doing the whole thing as a stocking, make it into a little pillow or it's just so many. Look at the house, take the house out, and make it into a little pillow such great ideas here. So this is called Stockings and More by Prairie Schooler. Another Prairie Schooler, Kris Kringle. Look at all these Santas. How fun. I love doing Santas of all over the world Santas. Um, it's my one of my favorite things. This was a free chart that came with an order. I don't know where to find it. I've had lots of people ask me. Sue Hillis Designs, it's a, a set, it says complimentary chart. Maybe try contacting her and see if you can get it. But it says, come sit at my table and share with me warm gingerbread cookies and cinnamon tea. Some for me, some for you, a friend to me you'll always be. Isn't that just sweet? I'm going to make this. I want to turn it into a mini pillow and I know exactly who I'm going to give it to. I think she might be watching and um, she's become a really good friend. So that's by Sue Hillis. This was a fun book I got in the Netherlands, Mill Hill Santa's Holiday. It's got all kinds of fun little projects in the book. It's a big, it's a nice book. It's a softback. And here's the back. Mill Hill's a lot of fun. You can always buy beads like off of 123 Stitch. And Mill Hill kits are nice because everything comes together. But these would be a lot of fun to make, um, you know, to make on your own. But you just have to buy the beads and the threads and stuff. But that's just so many fun things inside this book. So here's again, Santa's Holiday. And it's a book by Mill Hill. This is a popular one that I want to do. But I need to finish my first Hawk Run Hollow. I'm currently working on a year at Hawk Run Hollow. This is Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. It's a big chart. Each mo each block, this is another example. You can take one block, make it into a little pillow. You don't have to do it all together. But how cute is this ch Christmas chart? That is a full coverage right there. Obviously, you can see it was done all done on a tan fabric, and this is full coverage where they've taken black and filled it in. It's crazy, it, uh, it's just crazy fun to do, but it takes a long time. So this is one I'd like to get done. It is Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. All the Hawk Runs are just so much fun and buy carriage house samplings. Here's a cute one. This is called Hot Chocolate. It is by Sarah Germani. She's Italian, I believe, that's the name. Hot Chocolate. How fun is that fabric? I, in previous videos I've done, I've used this fabric, it's called Pettit Point, and I did a raccoon on it, and I'm currently stitching a reindeer on it. So this is what this looks like. I got this in the Netherlands. I'm, I think you can get them here. Christmas Avenue. Let's look at a couple finishes, more finishes that I've done. 
This one is called Let It Snow by Sugar Stitches on Etsy. When you look, again, put sugar stitches all together as one word. This is my finish. Adorable. I put beads up in here. I can't remember if it, I don't think it called for beads. I think if it didn't call for beads, I put the beads myself because I wanted more bling and sparkle to my pillow. And my finisher added some really cute buttons to go with it. So here's my cross stitch here. And then the finisher added the fabric here, fabric here, and added the candy cane fabric on the back. So let's see, Let It Snow Sugar Stitches 28 Count Monaco. And again, I put the beads on it. Very, very cute finish. I had that displayed up on the back in the last couple of videos. So cute. Another one, this is Punch Needle. This was my very first Punch Needle. I went to Galleria, is Needlework Gallery in September. They have it usually around the middle part, I think, of September. And I took a Punch Needle class and I loved it. This is by Heart Creek Farm Creations. And my I started very basic, only two colors. This was my finish right here. And what I did is I saved the back of a candle. You know how you can get a candle like at Bath and Body Works or I think this was from Bath and Body Works. And I saw this and thought, this is so beautiful. I don't want to throw this away. I saved it and my finisher was able to put it together with some cording. She added the cording and the bells on the bottom and she turned this punch needle into such a cute finish. I actually have this displayed all year because I love it. It's just adorable. I have it sitting right next to me in my craft room. So save your toppers. Sometimes they say bath and body. You're not going to put that on the back of a cross stitch. But if you have a topper, a candle topper, or any kind of jar lid that's really pretty like this, save it because you don't know. You might be able to use it for a finish like I did. Really, really pretty. So if you start punch needle, this is a perfect, perfect one to start with. It's very, very basic, but you can turn it into something so cute. And again, Heart Creek Farm Creations. Her name is Rose. She is so helpful. She's a great teacher. If you need any help at all, she is there either online. She'll text you help. Like She texted me a few times because I had some questions. She's just wonderful. Let's look at some more charts. We've got Santa Claus is coming to town. This is by The Little Stitcher I'm on Etsy. The Little Stitcher. Isn't that adorable? Santa Claus is coming to town. That is just, and I think you get these as well. So cute. Kathy Barrick, she's become one of my favorites. Dear, D-E-E-R. <laughs> Santa. Isn't that cute? Different and cute. Kathy Barrick. Okay, let's look at, oh, this is one of my favorites. Heart e Heart's Ease Exemplar Works, and her name is Teresa Baird. Bell Snickles Christmas Journey. This is an example of a different type of Santa from maybe Europe, or I think he's just beautiful. I'm going to show this up close so you can see the detail. I think that's gorgeous. This is one I really want to do. Bell Snickles Christmas Journey. She's available. Her email, heart with an S, hearts, ease, ew at gmail.com. You can get charts directly from her. And I think kittenstitcher.com has some of hers as well. Jenny Bean is a popular one, Shakespeare Peddler, the Christmas Sampler. It said, and had I but one penny, those shalts have it to buy gingerbread. <laughs> of course. And that says, Rot Gladly by Jenny Bean. Now, Shakespeare's Peddler has a series of Jenny Beans, and this just happens to be the Christmas Sampler. Very cute. Here's one called St. Nicholas. Again, a different Santa, a European Santa. I love it. Christmas, it is called a collection by Tralala. That's the designer, Tralala, St. Nicholas. That needs to be done this year. 
it's just there's a DM, DMC threads this the blue kind of looks variegated so maybe it's a different kind of choice inside I'd have to open it up and look but anyway Saint Nicholas Tralala -la is the name here's one needle bling designs Christmas Eve ride may you never be too old to search the skies on Christmas Eve now ever since I was a kid I go outside on Christmas Eve and I look up at the sky and I just spend some time sitting out there I will do that again this year now it's supposed to rain so I'll just sit under my deck <laughs> and I'll look out and I'll just look and I'll it's just it's magic Christmas Eve is a magic time and I love looking for Santa I haven't seen him quite yet but <laughs> When I was a kid, my parents would, when we were in bed, they, they had these bells that they jingle. So we knew Santa was near. And uh, anyway, this is just, I love the, the words on this because I agree, may you never be too old to search the skies on Christmas Eve. Here's one. What a beautiful chart. Kor y Batakore. We've talked about them in videos before. That's the name of them. I'll show it on the back too. Isn't that beautiful? What a gorgeous chart. This is called Christmas Sampler. And the name of the company, you can see it a little bit better here. Core E Batacore. But the chart Christmas Sampler. So beautiful. Here's a fun one. It is the North Pole by the Primitive Hair Christmas Makers. Isn't that cute? And that fabric that you can buy from Primitive Hair, really beautiful. Here's the first Quaker Christmas by Bygone Stitches. I showed uh, Quaker Christmas 2. This is part one. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. It's, I, I love Quakers, Quaker motifs. Bygone Stitches. Let's show a few more and then I'll show some more finishes. Yuletide on Thistle Hill. This is by Abby Rose Designs. Abby spelled A-B-B-Y. That's really pretty. Yuletide on Thistle Hill. Another favorite, 12 Days of Christmas by Jim Shore. Now I wanna say that Jen from Jen Stitching Ditch is stitching these separately on plastic canvas or perforated paper. I don't know which one. I don't, I, I think this is the one she's doing, but you can do these separate. Here's some examples on the back. Little pillow, you can do them separate. You can do them all together. But Jim Shore is Mill Hill. I've mentioned Mill Hill before. So cute. Ships Manor. Now I love the Nutcracker. I like stitching Nutcrackers. I have a finish to show in a few minutes. This is Fancy Pants. <laughs> Isn't he fancy pants? <laughs> and Ship's Manor is the name. Here's another one by Ship's Manor. It's called Woodland Nutcracker. He's a little bit different with the animals. These are so fun because the nutcrackers are so different. And the last one by Ship's Manor is, this is not the best picture, the Holly and the Ivy Nutcracker. Isn't that neat? How different. Ship's Manor is the name of the designer. So cool. Speaking of Nutcracker, Prairie Schooler. Nutca Nutcracker, 28 count. I will probably find the pattern in just a few minutes, so keep this in mind. This was done on 28 count Spice by Picture This Plus. And that's my Nutcracker that I did by Prairie Schooler. Isn't he beautiful? And look at the back. Look at the fabric that she picked. This was the, done by a friend. And she added the bells at the top. Just a simple finish for my tree. I think he's just so beautiful. I like his little lacy boots here. The lace on his boot, the little crisscrosses. Anyway, that's a finish. Prairie Schooler. Here's one. It was a limited edition. Where did it go? Santa's House by Prairie Schooler. I changed the white, it called for bamboo. I changed it to B5200, the really bright white. And it's the 2010 limited edition by Prairie Schooler. 
Now she made this into a flat fold. So it stands up, it was standing up back there in some of my videos. What a beautiful job she did. She added the cording on the side, fabric. This is like cardboard. It's like, um, like a hard cardboard that it's on. And this was so fun. I changed the date to when I did it in 2019. It was a lot of fun to do. I think she finished it just beautiful for me. I don't know how to do flat folds, so uh, there's a little thing here to keep it standing. But anyway, Prairie Schooler, it is 2010 limited edition. This was just so fun. And I don't know if I showed the back, that's the back. How beautiful. What a fun, fun stitch that was. Another one I did, this is a punch needle. Punch needles can be made into ornaments. This was called Snowman Punch. All I put was Snowman Punch Needle. <laughs> I know I got it from Heart Creek Farm Creations. That's the punch needle website for Rose. I added, did I do this? I don't remember if I did this or not, or if someone else finished it for me, but the hanger is beads. And isn't he cute? What a cute finish. I, there was just some felt. I'm thinking I did it. Felt on the back and to cover up the punch needle area. And I think he's just really cute. What a fun, fun um, punch needle. He was easy. I chose easy punch needles as my first one so that I could get an idea of whether I liked it or not or if I was going to be any good at it. But having a small finish really makes you feel good and wants you to do more. You make you you feel like you want to do more. So anyway, that's another finish. Here's one that came out of a magazine. It was called Red Christmas. And this is by Nikki's Creations. 18 count opalescent white is what I chose. So you can see, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Not a little, little bit right here. The sparkle of the uh, uh, opalescent 18 count ribbon red by Classic Color Works is what I used. This happened to be in the 2019 Christmas Ornament Just Cross Stitch magazine. So this was my very first time making a pillow and I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> I chose that for backing fabric. I added a little hanger and just sewed up the top. So I just wanted something small for my very first pillow. I think it came out really cute. And I did something out of a magazine that made me happy. Very, very, very cute. Okay, so that was the 2019 edition. Let's show some more charts. Oh, I see the Prairie Schooler uh, Nutcracker coming up. Okay, Cod uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. Ho, 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 and away we go. How cute is that chart on black? I think that's really, really pretty. Country Cottage Needleworks. Uh, let's see, here's another one. This one's a little hard to see. Silver Creek Samplers. This is one I've seen people do and it's just so beautiful. I'm gonna show it up close. It's so fun. It's even prettier stitched up. And it's just a fun, fun chart to do. Uh, let's see, Silver Creek Samplers. This is not a very good picture, but it's by Sarah Germani again. And see if you can make that out. It's, it's kind of a blurry picture, but it's a town, a Christmas town. It says Merry Christmas. And this chart is called Christmas Village. It's very cute. Let's see some more. Here's one by Tralala, not the best picture, not very colorful. I think stitched up, that would be a lot cuter. By Tralala, and that's the name of it. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Very cute. Uh, let's see here. I am missing the page that shows the Prairie Schooler Nutcracker. So hopefully I come across it. Here's a cute one on Etsy. This is the name of the shop, Crochet Agogo. It's called Winter Time. 
and that's it. Another one that's really hard to see, but very, very cute. They've got some just beautiful charts. Um, of course, Hands on Design. This is uh, a fun one. It's called Holly Jolly Farm. That's just adorable. There are so many Priscilla and Chelsea's that I have, and they're just stacked. <laughs> you know they've got gorgeous charts. Okay, here's one of my favorites. Christmas Quilts by Rosewood Manor. I saw this stitched up in Karen Kluba's shop in at Galleria. She had like a pop-up shop in her room. It was gorgeous. This is definitely one I would really like to do. You ought to see it in person. I wish I could show you guys. Beautiful. Christmas quilts. Uh, let's see some more charts. This is a fun one. Winter Wonderland by Historische Stickmuster. This is a German website. If you put the address in Chrome or another search engine, it'll translate for you. This is the name of it. Just look under Historische Stickmuster, and that's the name of the chart. Translates to Winter Wonderland. Beautiful. What a gorgeous chart. Here's one I, I really liked by The Little Stitcher on Etsy. It is The Christmas Carol, and it's The Three Spirits. Those would be cute to be done individually and make them into little pillows and have like a Christmas Carol bowl where you have all kinds of finishes displayed in a bowl that's all the Christmas Carol. That would be really fun. Here's one by Stony Creek. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's so pretty. Here's Quaker Christmas 2. Now, how come? I thought I showed this already. <laughs> By bygone stitches. Maybe I have two of them. I'll have to look and see. That's beautiful. So pretty. Uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. This is another a, a Cardinal's Carol. So pretty. Lots and lots of Prairie Schoolers. Um, this is a fun one. It's all Santa in different modes of transportation. It's called Santa's Rides by Prairie Schooler. So fun. Look at those little pillows. It's just perfect. Okay, this is one of my favorite Prairie Schoolers, Christmas Eve. Gosh, that's so pretty. Look at those little mini ones down here too. So beautiful. Christmas Eve. Old World Santas. Now, again, I love the old Santas. The vintage Santas. European Santas. How fun. And this is, that was one. This is Old World Santas 2. Look at him with the crown. Uh, the, I love that. Oh my gosh, I have so many. Teresa Kogut, how about Santa Knows? That's cute. This is a fun little book by Twin Peak Primitives, Hawthorneville Christmas, book number one. Look at all the fun things in this book. I'm gonna show it up close. It's by Twin Peak Primitives and it is a book. Now I got this in Europe when we were there um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if these are all separate now because I know I've seen that one on their website. You could always email them. They are so nice. They are just so helpful. Um, they'll let you know if this book is still available, where to find it. But it's just a great book and that's the name of it. Hawthorneville Christmas Book One. Neat. Okay, let's show the last of the finishes, and then I'm going to show the works I have in progress. One more finish. This is called Ho, Ho, Ho by Lizzie Kate. It's called actually called Ho, Ho Holiday. Now, this is part of the Jingle series. I had someone ask me recently about this. They were curious about this fabric. I was not able to figure out what fabric line this was because I didn't finish this. I, I had sent it to my friend to finish. And 
So Lizzie Kate, the red is 321 DMC. It has a little button that attaches to his nose. I think this is just such a cute, cute finish. And again, there's the back. It's on like a cardboard, a hard cardboard. And it came out really, really cute. Just a sweet finish. Okay, this is the last one I'm going to show that's a finish. It is called Santa Sampler Country Cottage Needleworks. Now, this was done on 28 count fabric, two threads. It was my first time on 28 count. The finisher made it into a flat fold. You can see the little thing here. It stands on the table as a display. I'm going to show it up close. I actually chose to put beads on the stockings, beads on the eyes, beads on the reindeer eyes, and beads for the cookies and the gingerbread men. And here's what it looks like. I'll show it up close so you can see the beads for the eyes. There's the beads on the stockings, the gingerbread cookies, and the eyes on the reindeer. This was so much fun. Now I have a current project going by Co Country Cottage Needleworks, but I'm going a little slow on it because the leaves are so similar, the border is so similar. So I feel like after I stitch this, the one that I'm working on now is so similar. Um, I'll show you, I'll show it in just a few minutes. What an adorable finish. She did a really great job. So Country Cottage Needleworks, this was Santa Sampler. And it came out really, really cute. The, fit, the one I'm working on now is another Country Cottage Needlework. I love it. It's very cute. This is the chart. And the leaves are all, they're really similar. So this is moving a little bit slow but I wanna finish it because I think it's gonna be adorable. I chose a gray background instead of the green. My friend Sandy did the green and it, I think she did green and it looked so, her finish is beautiful. And this is my progress so far. How cute is that? So you can see the border is pretty similar to my finish. And I'm gonna keep working on that. I'll keep working on this the rest of the year till I get it finished. It'll be done for sure by next year. That last one I showed was on 32 count and the fabric is color and cotton fieldstone. Let's show a few more things that I'm working on that are things I have works in progress. This is one I should have finished a long time ago and I haven't. Heartstring samplery. It is called Baby It's Cold Outside. Now there's a floss tube couple, Lost in Floss. They are Barb and Leanne, and Leanne passed away. This was done in her honor, and I started it because I absolutely love Barb and Leanne both. And Barb still has a floss tube. It's still going. It's called Lost in Floss. Now here is my progress. Ugh, got a big old string hanging off of it. Here's my progress on it. I've got so much done, I may as well just finish it and get this done. This fabric, I dyed myself. I think it came out really pretty for this project. And let's see what I'm doing it on. Maybe it's cold outside, 28 count Lugana that I dyed in memory of Leanne from Lost in Floss. And so that's what the whole chart's gonna look like when it's done. The next one that I've been working on is Teresa Kogut. It's one of my favorites. It is called Heaven and Nature. And it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. So my progress on this, let's see here. This is on Dusty Road by Seraphim Fabrics, 32 count. This is my progress so far. Isn't that beautiful? So fun. I'll be working more on this this year. I'd love to get it done by next Christmas. So pretty. 
The next one that I've been working on is, you guys saw it in the last video, it is by Bothy Threads, The Nutcracker. This is a stitch along with, made by Michelle McGraw. And it is on 16 count. The kit, it comes fully kitted from Bothy Threads in the UK. I think you can get it here as well. But this is my progress so far. I switched it out to 16 count Ada. And it's so fun to work on. It's just bright and cheery and fun and such a great, great chart. The kit is... I will definitely buy more kits from Bothy Threads, and they are very well organized, beautiful charts, beautiful kits. Here's another whip I have. It is Red Christmas. This is on a cream color 32 count. This is by Jardin Privé. My progress here is this. The thread is 115 DMC, and it's variegated, it's beautiful. This is also a really fun one to work on. Interesting enough, the back, they show one that's done like in gold. I think that, or like a greenish yellow in a way, kind of a goldish, really pretty. So I'm gonna continue working on that this year, Red Christmas. Uh, three more that I have. This is by Galliana Cross Stitch Designs, and it is called House of Christmas. Galliana Cross Stitch Design is on Etsy. This is 32 count. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I chose that really pretty 115 DMC. This is my progress. Not a lot of progress so far, but that's it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the color changes, how pretty. That's really pretty. So I'll keep working on this this year. That DMC 115 is one of my favorite threads. Okay, the last cross stitch whip work in progress that I have. I got this chart, you can only get it from one store and that's in Roden, the Netherlands. You can email me if you're interested in getting it. It is called December in the Netherlands by Twin Peak Primitives. Now this was a special Dutch Mania 2019 chart. It's available through D. Hanbroek Boutique in Roden. Anamiek is wonderful. She can help you get the chart. So this was given to us back in 2019 when we all went to the Netherlands. And my progress on this, the fabric is Alchemy by Picture This Plus, 32 count. And this is my progress. Almost done, like halfway done. I did change out that bluish icy color because the original um, called for wasn't showing up on the fabric. So that's my progress, December in the Netherlands. It's so fun to work on. It needs to get finished. The last one I wanted to show is, actually I have one more. This is a punch needle I'm working on by Michelle Palmer. It is going to be gorgeous. It is called Blue Santa. I think she's on Etsy, Michelle Palmer. And I only have his face done so far. I think his face, actually, you know what? That's the punched part. That's what the back looks like. Here's his face. And I think his face came out pretty clear. So not a lot of progress. This is actually an, a more advanced chart for punch needles, so I've been a little afraid to work on it, which is dumb, because if you could do a face that clear, I think I can handle the rest. <laughs> if his face was like all deformed, then yeah, maybe I shouldn't work on him. <laughs> so there's no reason why I shouldn't work on that chart. Two more finish I, finishes I showed in the last video. This is Calico Confectionery Bah Humbug. I did it on 40 count ale. I showed that in my last video. The last one I wanted to show real quick is a punch needle by Heart Creek Farm Creations. And this was a lot of fun. I just need to get it finished. And this was a Santa that I did. I thought that came out really, really cute. 
Jolly Santa, I think it was called, and he is Punch Needle. Very fun, and I like the sparkly star. That was fun to do, Punch Needle. Okay, we have gone through a lot of charts. The video is getting a little bit long, but let's just do a few more of my favorite charts. Here's another one by Galliana Cross Stitch Designs. She has some beautiful ones. This I, I'd like to do in 115, that red. That is so cute. This reminds me of me because I've spent a lot of time with Walking with a walker, as you guys know, on my ac my accident, and you guys know all the surgeries I've had. Oh my God, he's my people. I love him so much. He's Tiny Tim. I think he's, yeah, Tiny Tim. This is by Shenanigans. I don't know where I got this chart, but I love him so much. But anytime I see a cross stitch with like someone with crutches or a cane or a walker. It just reminds me of everything I've been through, not being able to walk for so, so many years. And it just reminds me of that. And so I just, ugh, I love that so much. Okay, running through these a little bit more. Lots of Prairie Schoolers. They've come out with some really, really cute ones. Uh, Waxing Moon Design, the Christmas House Trio is a good one, another good collection that's very cute. Here's one I got off of a French website. This is the name of it. They mailed it to me, no problems. They were wonderful. I thought that chart was so adorable. Uh, it is called Seasonal, it's called Christmas Scenes. That's the name of it. But the website is right here, dot com. And that's just adorable. So cute. Let's do a few more and then I'll show what I have kitted up that I just might start. Here's a Barbara Anna Designs, Oh Christmas Tree. Isn't that just so cute? last couple of ones that I have Christmas Smalls by Carolyn Manning Designs I just recently found out that Carolyn Manning Designs PDF works in Pattern Keeper so I use Pattern Keeper on my computer and uh oh here's a cute one Tralala again that company Tralala how cute is he riding that sheep <laughs> That's the name of it. Very, very cute. Here's an older chart, the Cricut Collection. Let's see if I can get this out. Cricut Collection Ginger Bears. Those are cute. I like that little house. So sweet with the bears up here. Santa and the bear. Another one I really like, Twin Peak Primitives, Towards to North. That's cute. I'd like to do that on like the gray or the silver fabric that I'm doing, the alchemy. Picture this plus. I think that would look really pretty on the gray. Okay, I think that's just about it. Oh, here's one last one by Tralala. Santa with his little um, friends behind him. This is the name of it. Tralala is the designer. Very cute. And this is a pretty one, Prairie Schooler, the Christmas Alphabet. You could do these separate, just like they did here. I think that's really pretty. Really pretty. We've got, and to all a good night, this is Prairie Schooler. And last one from Prairie Schooler is Christmas Samplers. And they each have kind of a story with them. Very, very cute. Now let me show a couple of kits that I have. They're not going to get stitched up. Oh, I have one more whip to show. Madame Lafie. This is Santa's Village. Again, this is so pretty stitched up. I'll show you my progress on this. I'm using an opalescent Ada. Excuse the tape. This was before I knew how to use my sewing machine. <laughs> So he's really cute, stitched up, he's adorable. 
and this is the chart. So that's another fun one, Christmas or Santa's Village. Okay, what do I have kitted up? First of all, this is the kit, the Yuletide blanket, the crochet blanket I'm going to start on Christmas Day. It is from Attic 24. It's a free pattern. So this is the kit that I got from Wool Warehouse. They're beautiful colors. That will get started Christmas Day, Yuletide blanket. Couple other things I wanted to show. This is a Christmas Santa Block of the Month Club. And this club is called Classic Santas. So what I do is I get a block every month. Every Santa is from a different country. So I've already gotten Poland, uh, Polish Santa. I've gotten Russian Santa, I think. So each month I get a different square. I make it and then at the end I put all the squares together to make a quilt. This is the backing fabric that I just bought the other day. That's gonna be really pretty on the back of it, I think. So the Santas are just so, they're so fun. They're from all over the world. Um, Russian Santa, Polish Santa. Very, very fun. So that's gonna be a quilt that I do later in the year. What type of things do I have actually Kit it up, but I haven't started, and I'm not going to start for quite some time. Bothy Threads, 12 Days of Christmas. Now, this chart and this kit is gorgeous. I'm going to show it up close. The 12 Days of Christmas by Bothy Threads is the name of the company. They mailed this from the UK. It is gorgeous. And look at how beautifully packed. All the threads are separated. It's gorgeous, 12 days of Christmas. Okay, the next one I have kitted up that I'll do someday, but it's not gonna be anytime soon, Christmas Eve Sampler. This is another one by Joan Elliott, I believe. Yeah, Joan Elliott. I'm gonna show it up close and then I'll pull it back. So you could take parts of this and do them separately. You don't have to do the whole thing all together. This is the fabric that's included. Isn't that just beautiful? This whole kit with the threads and that beautiful modeled fabric I got from Pole Stitches on Etsy. If you're interested, just throw me an email and I'll tell you more about Pole Stitches. But Christmas Eve Sampler by Joan Elliott. This I got off of Etsy from a Russian company. And it's a cross-stitch kit that I don't... Oh, it's called a Christmas Fairy Tale. Isn't that just beautiful, the little ornaments? I think that's just so precious. So that's kitted up. It's a full kit. Here's a couple more that I just realized. I showed the chart a few minutes ago, and this is actually a kit that someone gave me. Isn't he beautiful? Maybe he's a different Santa. I think he's different now that I think about it than the one I showed before. Anyway, this is a full kit, ready to go whenever I start getting some finishes. <laughs> he is called, it says, Grandfather Frost is the name of it. Designs for the needle. Really, really pretty. I have a couple more kits to show and then we'll be done with the video. How about Christmas Carol Sampler? I've got the fabric, which is that really pretty grungy fabric called something Salem, Old Salem by Primitive Hair. This is, this has to be done this year because I love it. My, again, I told you my favorite story is the Christmas Carol. My favorite movie that I watch year round. I literally watch the George C. Scott version of A Christmas Carol all year round. And that needs to be done. See the grungy fabric? Isn't that beautiful? So this is kitted up, ready to go. This is by the Primitive Hair. Here's an Al Forest. It's called, is this Christmas? I'll show it anyway. I don't know the name of it, but um, no, this is not Christmas. I don't know where my Christmas one is. I thought it was Christmas, but it's more of a Russian uh, sampler. I think it was called online. 
I have a Christmas one and I thought I pulled it out, but I pulled the wrong one out. Al Forest Designs. It's a full kit. Last but not least, we have three kits I showed recently that I got from Yarn Stories. Awesome Etsy shop from Russia. They sent these all to me. This is by Luca S. And this one is called, I was looking for the name of it. It's by, it's Anchor Threads. I don't see the name, but isn't that beautiful? I was telling you guys in the previous video that I have kitty, I had a kitty of each color. Our gray one passed away of old age. She had cancer and passed away recently. That's beautiful. Luca S is the name of the designer. The other Luca S that I got recently that's Christmas is this one. It's a full kit. These are beautiful kits. This one, um, do I see? Dreaming of a White Christmas uh, is the name of this one. Um, this might be the name of this one right here because that's where the name is on the other um, kit. But how beautifully packaged these kits are. You don't have to separate threads like you used to in the olden days. And this is the last one. I'm going to show Letty Stitch is the name of the company. And I showed this a few days ago too on another video. Isn't that just so fun? It's beautiful. This one is called Christmas Wood. So those are the ones that I have kitted up to do sometime in the future. I don't have any plans right now to actually stitch them, but I need to get some finishes done, which is my goal this year for sure. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing the finishes. I really like showing you guys how you can finish your cross stitches, make them into ornaments, make them into pillows, make them into flat folds. There are people out there to do this for you if you're not really good like me with finishing. Now I've gotten to where I really like trying to make the pillows, trying to learn, watching Vonna Pfeiffer's tutorials online. Um, check her out if you're interested in learning basics on making a small pillow yourself. I am not a sewer. I'm not a sewing machine person, but I've slowly, by watching her videos, I've learned. I got a, a brother sewing machine from Walmart and just learned how to do it by using YouTube, by watching videos learned the basics, and made some finishes myself. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what you can turn your cross stitches into, the charts I showed, the Christmas chart parade, and all the projects that I have that I'm working on with Christmas theme and the kits that I have kitted up. Thank you, everybody. I will have a New Year's special coming up, New Year's floss tube, probably next week. Maybe after New Year's, I might take the week off and we'll do a New Year's video following New Year's. I hope you guys have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you next year. Bye, everybody.